Hey guys, Andrew Steinmetz, QAQC Manager with Genco Inc. Coming to you with the fourth installment on my series on most common code infractions I find on job sites. Um, today we'll be discussing uh, flush mount installations, uh, something very common I find on job sites and I don't, not sure if it's just because of a misunderstanding on the code or because we're so used to using caterpillars, but I hope to clarify that with you today. Um, and again, we'll go over a few pictures from job sites and then go over the code uh, more exactly. So let's start off by looking at the pictures. So here we have a common installation in drywall. Um, as you see here, the mud ring is set um, quite a bit back from the drywall. Um, code states that if it's more than a quarter of an inch, then you need to use a box extension. And that's what I wanna clarify, is a box extension versus caterpillars. Uh, commonly we use caterpillars, um, and for anything under a quarter of an inch, perfectly fine. Um, anything over a quarter of an inch, we need to use box extensions. Here we have the same thing in concrete. Again, in concrete, and this is very, very far set back in the concrete. So definitely a box extension is needed there. So this next example is on a combustible material, which the code uh, has a special um, section for that, just about combustible materials that this actually needs to be flush. If it is not 100% flush with the combustible material, then you need to use a box extension. So more than likely on combustible materials, you'll end up using a box extension um, and caterpillars, which you can see were used back here, do not count. You need a plastic box extension. Here we have another example, caterpillars used. And here is a, a box extension. So this is the most common box extension. It's just a plastic ring that you put in there. Um, and this is what you would use instead of caterpillars. Uh, not to mention this is much easier than using caterpillars because you don't have to try to figure out how many you need to use. To alleviate that issue uh, beforehand, you can use these adjustable mud rings to adjust the depth um, after the fact. So these are great. They're a little bit more expensive than the normal mud ring, but you can adjust these after the fact to get more um, depth out of them so you can be flush with the material. So let's go over the code. And we're in the NEC. 314.20 flush mounted installations. Installations within or behind a surface of concrete, tile, gypsum, plaster, or other non combustible material, including boxes employing a flush type cover or faceplate, shall be made so that the front edge of the box, plaster ring, extension ring, or listed extender will not be set back of the finished surface more than six millimeters, a quarter of an inch. Installations within a surface of wood or other combustible surfaces, material, boxes, plaster rings, extension rings, or listed extenders shall be extended to the finished surface or project therefrom. So basically it says it right there. Um, you're allowed a quarter of an inch on non-combustibles, uh, combustibles such as wood needs to be 100% flush. Otherwise, you have to use box extenders. Now, I want to clarify again that a box extender is different than using caterpillars. Caterpillars will help you get that depth, but they do not meet code. So we need to make sure we're using box extenders when necessary instead of caterpillars. The enhanced content says this section applies only to the construction of the finished surface of the wall or ceiling and not to its structure or subsurface. 
It is important that the final finished surface, such as tiled kitchen backsplashes, be considered before outlet boxes are installed. This often requires the cooperation of other construction trades, drywall installers, plasters, and carpenters, and the building designer. So I really hope that, uh, you know, clarifies it a little bit better, but we should be using these box extenders more often. Too many times I'm seeing many, many caterpillars being used, which is okay for anything less than a quarter of an inch. After that, box extenders. If it's a combustible material, box extenders. So hopefully that clarifies it and you know this helps with uh, these installations in the future. Thank you.